Welcome to Digital Asset News, take the top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and bring them down to bite-sized pieces. Today we got some positive news as over 6 billion in Bitcoin options are set to expire today, which sets us up for a potential $80,000 Bitcoin. But I will just warn you that what goes up must come down and not every story tells the full tale. So we'll take a look at that. Also a nice little piece about Kim.com talking about Bitcoin Cash and Elon Musk comes out of nowhere and pretty much says, yeah, you're right. And we'll take a look at what that is and the details about what is going on and the love affair of Bitcoin Cash. And uh, speaking about what's going on, what the heck is going on with Voyager? One of my top picks has just been kind of uh, been trading sideways lately. And I'm going to tell you exactly what's going on and when I believe things are going to start to really pick up. So we'll take a look at all that. But there's a couple things I wanted to announce. First of all, we had talked about uh, we, we've been talking about N NFTs for a while here, and uh, I know people are in love with NFTs, and that's great. I like them, too. I bought an NFT of Batman over on Vive. Great stuff, right? Great stuff. But uh, some people like real art on their wall that's actually, you know, physical. And uh, one of the uh, a local artists or a lo local company reached out to me from Chicago. Uh, there are subscribers, uh, one the, the guy that owns it. He says, hey, man. He goes, I, I get these, I source these um, uh, artworks from uh, people around the globe, different artists. And uh, what do you think about this? It's a nice acrylic uh, and they got a bunch of different ones. This is one of the ones that I liked. And uh, I just asked everybody like what they thought of this artwork. And a lot of people, I mean, myself included, I mean, I would definitely put that on my wall, uh, especially on one of my investment properties. And they're like, yeah, I love it. I would like to put that on my wall. So great. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a giveaway. All you gotta do is just comment something about the painting or the artwork or something like that. And then we'll reach out to you and we'll pick a winner and uh, that could be on your wall. So if you like something like this, uh, there's gonna be more where that came from. We're gonna give uh, one of these away today. So just comment in below. And uh, that is it for that. Let's see what's going on into the market. So first of all, today it is uh, March 26th. It is 2.30 PM uh, Peso, Texas time. Beautiful day, beautiful day. And uh, just so you know, this will be my last video uh, in El Paso for a while. We are taking off tomorrow morning for Puerto Rico, just to take a little bit of a break. And then uh, we're going to meet up over there with uh, a couple of people. Alex is over there. I think Paper Hands Ryan is, is over there. So we might be doing like a, like a real uh, Trade the Chains show uh, over on Puerto Rico. I was just there for a vacation. I think these guys were there for business, but uh, whatever. So uh, yeah, we'll see. tell you how it all goes. But this is what's going on in the market today. First of all, yesterday when we talked about the market, how depressing was that, right? And I told you, if you're new to the market, don't worry, it's gonna be all right. Because uh, you have to understand that uh, these markets over here in the uh, cryptocurrency digital assets, 20% dips, 30% dips, it's just a Thursday, just a Tuesday, it doesn't really matter. Uh, over in traditional, traditional world, that's huge, but over here, it doesn't really mean anything. So uh, what happened today? Well, we just exactly what I told you was gonna happen. If you don't like the price, just wait a little bit of time and it'll change and that's exactly what happened. So again, these are gonna happen again and again and again. So once you get used to it, especially if you're new, just understand that uh, these things are all, all normal. And I, I told you, you know, the great thing about not going all in, like you can, you can be like my man Diddy over at Bitcoin Family. Uh, great channel, go check that out. I, I recommend it in the links, in, or there's a uh, description. Uh, there's a link in the description, that's what I'm trying to say, of uh, Diddy and Guy and Hashoshi and Digital Dave and all the guys that I, I watch almost every day. So check them out. But like what he did was great. He went all in the very beginning of 2017. He sold his businesses, his houses, kidneys, whatever he sold, he sold everything and he put it all into Bitcoin and uh, worked out pretty well. But uh, you know, for some people, when they go all in, it's a little bit scary. So for me, I just said, this is the great thing about being an investor. Uh, you can just dollar cost average, you can value cost average, or you can just go all in. I personally like the dollar cost average because yesterday is a great day, right? If I would have gone in all in the day before, I couldn't have put a bunch of money in yesterday for all the things I like to buy, like you know, Voyager, Chainlink, Cardano, uh, what is the other one? StormX, uh, those types of things, right? Those, those, those like little gems that you can pick up. So it's a great day. And then uh, what's great about, you know, the next day that comes up, well, you're like, oh, it's up. My portfolio is up. Everybody's happy. So just remember that uh, uh, these things are going to happen. So just keep your, just keep your head and your shoulders and, and don't freak out because uh, there's going to be a lot more of these. All right. So this is what's going on in the market today. Uh, we got a $1.7 trillion market cap. 
let's see what we have as far as coins and how we're doing. Well, Bitcoin's up three, almost 4%, 54,000, especially with what we're going to talk about today. You'll understand why. Ethereum, not too great, 1669, but uh, still in that top two spot. So we're happy. Tether's Tether, Binance Coin's up. Listen, listen, everything's up. Let's see what is up and like huge, like bigly. Terra, uh, yes, Filecoin, also up massively. Doge, for you Doge holders. And Tron. Yeah. Anyhow, that's what's going on. Let's uh, let's satisfy our inner trader. Take a look at the one hour projected range. Let me do a close up so you can see what I'm talking about. So when I click on that one hour projected range, it'll just tell us like uh, what they what trade the chains thinks about is going to go up. So this is what I like about trade the chains. I don't really deal with these things because they're off my radar, and that's why I really do need this type of information. So like if you're a trader, look at near protocol. It, it's a 90% accuracy. It could go up 0.5% in the next hour, maybe up to 4%, maybe down three. The key, what else we got? Ave could go up, Harvest, Grin, Celsius. Interesting, but not too big of spreads. Today's not a really great day. All right. Well, anyhow, that's what's going on in the market. Let's jump into today's top story, shall we? And this is what we got. So 6 billion options are about to expire. How great is that? Really, it's not about the the expiration. It's it's about that there's very there's a lot of longs that are still in play, and the shorts are diminishing. So, what is going on? Well, let's just drop down here. Today is March 26, and the crypto ecosystem is about to witness one of the largest options expirations to date, as more than a hundred thousand Bitcoin options will expire today, happening right now, the largest ever. Right, according to Skew.com, 15 billion in open interest across exchanges offering Bitcoin options, 15 billion. And Dirabit captures more than 12 billion of that and open interest. And as you can see, Glassnode detailed that there are a number of traders betting Bitcoin will be $80,000 on the April 3rd, 2020 expiration. And as it goes into some more detail down here, but kind of boring. So really all this means is this, as all these options expire and you have a lot of people going, you know what? I think that it's going to go short, or I think it's going to go long. Well, if we take a look over here at uh, Datamish, uh, which really has a lot to do with uh, uh, BitMEX, you're going to see that uh, the shorts, you've got just a thousand of those, and then longs around 24,000. So everybody seems to agree that Bitcoin is probably going to go up in price. But here's the thing about that, and I'll just warn you right now. Don't get into a project just because of what everybody else is doing. It's just it's just one of those things where like, and even Warren Buffett talks about this. He says, when everybody's going in one certain direction, it's actually sometimes a good idea to kind of go the opposite. I don't know what's going to happen. I personally believe that Bitcoin will hit 150000 this year before December 31st. I've always talked about that. I made this prediction even last year uh, on the channel, and I still think it's it's in play. I don't know if it's going to hit 80,000 by April. I hate giving these really short time frames because I know crypto and digital assets are going to be great. I just don't know the exact time frame. And uh, I mean, the best I can do is just tell you like this year, I think it's going to be this. And I could be off massively. You know, uh, I could, Bitcoin could be up to 220,000 like Max Kaiser. Or if you believe some other people, it's going to go to 300,000 or maybe a half a million. I think it's ridiculous, but whatever. Uh, Pretty reserves at 150,000. I think that's where we can go. Now to say that it's going to go to 80,000 by April, that's a lot of money to dump in. Uh, as we're already seeing that Bitcoin, I mean, the total market cap is around 1.7 trillion. I think Bitcoin's around 950 billion, or maybe a trillion of that. So to get up to 80,000 for where we are right here, that's a lot of money to be dumped in. Now could it happen? Sure, but uh, I wouldn't uh, go all in. That's all I'm saying. Dollar cost average. I'm still going to do that. Anyhow, that's what's going on in that piece. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on to our second story of the day.